Hi, my name is Lasse. I'm part of the LEGO Mindstorms team. Today, I'll show you how to build a program using sensors. So we'll be using the P-brick, a USB cable, a computer, a cable, and a sensor. I'll be using the touch sensor for this. So let's get started. We're gonna start by opening up the project that we've been using so far in the other tutorials. We're gonna close the content editor again, and then we'll create a new program and call it my first sensor. Now there are many different ways that you can use a sensor. I'm gonna be showing you one of the simplest one. To, to, to demonstrate this, I'll be using the sound blocks. So I'll start by dragging in two sound blocks. And I'll select the sounds. For this one, I'll be using, go down to communication, and then taking the go for the first one. And I'll take the EV3 for the second one. Now let's download this so we know where we're starting. So we'll connect the P-brick to the computer using the USB cable. And then once it pops up in here, it's connected, we'll download it. And then we go over here to the P-brick, open the project and select the My First Sensor program. And as you heard, it played the two sounds right after each other. If we go back to the software, I'm gonna introduce you to a new block now. This would be the wait block. What this does is that it now waits one second. So it says go, then it waits one second, and then it says EV3. Let's download and try it out. So we go over here, select the My First Project, and then my first sensor again. Pause. Perfect. Now, weight blocks is a very easy way to use sensors. So I'm gonna show you how to combine the weight block with the touch sensor. Before we go into the programming of it, let's connect the touch sensor. So I'm gonna connect this touch sensor to port one on the P-brake, like this. Now, Inside the software, let's go down to the hardware page and select the port view tab, like this. Down here, you can see that it now sees a touch sensor here on port sensor port one. And if I press the sensor, you can see the value changes to one. And if I release it, it goes back to zero. Now, on the weight block, we have different modes. So if I here press this button, I get an overview of the different modes that I can choose for this. And here we have the touch sensor. Now what we want to do is I want to have the program say go and then wait until I touch the sensor before it says EV3. So what I want to do is I want to compare the state of the sensor like this. And the state I want to compare it to is one. And if you press this parameter, I can see that I can choose between released, pressed, and bumped. And I wanted to check if it was pressed. So I check, I select this. So it's gonna say go, and then it'll wait for me to touch the sensor, and then it'll say EV3. Let's try it out. So we go over here, select the My First Project, My First Sensor. And you heard it said go, but it didn't say EV3. Now when I press this, EV3. it'll say the EV3. But as I explained to you, there were different states. So I'm gonna show you what happens if I select the release state instead. So we'll download this. Go over here. And play the program again. So as you heard, it played it right after the, each other. And that's because it was waiting for me to release the touch sensor, but it was already released. So if I press this and then play the program, it's gonna wait for me to release it. So when I release it, it's gonna play the sound. 
So that's how you build a program using the touch sensor. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to build a program that drives your robot. So see you then.